Okay, so we now have the cable here running through both channels in the two Teflon pads. All right, so now the cable's coming up through here. There's a little gap between the edge of the bearing and this bronze bushing. So what we have to do next after this is take the cable and wrap it around the bronze bushing twice. Okay, so first thing you're going to do is the cable's going to come up. It's going to go over top of the bronze bushing, so in between the bronze bushing and the bearing. And we're going to take the cable and twist it like so. We're just going to take it and make a circular wrap and put it around the bronze bushing. Okay, so now we have it wrapped around and now it's coming back up and over again. All right, a second time, now it comes over the bearing, or over the, the bushing, I should say, the bronze bushing. Now we're going to do it again. All right, we did it once, now we're going to take this and again make a wrap and put it around the bronze bushing and pull it through again. So essentially what you want is the cable to come up, wrap around once, come up through again, and then wrap a second time, and now come up over the bronze bushing and go up along the edge here. <laughs> Little spider there. Um, get rid of him. So now we have this here. You'll see there's a couple grooves that have been sort of channeled in here. You want the cable to ride in that groove and we have the spring here. You just have to take the spring and where the opening is, there we go, wrap it into the eyelet of the cable. And now you can engage the drive. So flat is engaged, this is disengaged. So you're putting tension on the cable which puts tension on the pulley here and that allows the pulley to move the telescope in altitude. This way now allows the telescope uh, to move freely uh, in altitude. All right, so now we have this uh, altitude motor uh, just essentially completely ready to go. And now we'll go to the next step in the process.